Viva Las Vegas Autos bringing you another fantastic vehicle. This is a 2004 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and uh, it's a two-door of course and it's got a lot of stuff put on it. A lot of money was put in this car. Uh, Pro Comp suspension, Pro Comp tires and wheels. Um, just, I mean, you look around this car and you can find a lot of uh, uh, aftermarket items that were put on it to make it really a cool vehicle. When I go to the auctions, uh, I'm always trying to find vehicles that were maintained impeccably. This one's got 94,000 miles on it. Uh, it has one little ding there in the front fender. If you look right at the driver's side fender at the front there, that's the only real ding on the whole car. Aside from that, this thing was babied and treated nice. Uh, there's not a, a, any road rash under, or off-road rash underneath the vehicle or at all. Uh, it's got a working winch on it, and we actually used that the other day to help uh, get one of our cars out. And uh, the vehicle runs and drives great, blows ice cold on air. It's got the KC lights, Pro Comp suspension all the way around on this thing, lifted of course. And it's got those uh, automatic running boards, you'll see that here in a minute when I open those up. Hard top, yellow paint that's all factory original, never been repainted. It's got a draw tight uh, hitch on the back, class 3, and a lot of little things on it. Like the tail lights there, little covers and stuff like that. The gas tank cover. Um, when you open up these uh, doors, those AMP steps just pop right out at you. Give you a lift in. And again, you see the, the body's in great shape. Anyways, the Rubicons are nice because, uh, oh, yeah, 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 take this down here, you can see the Pro Comp suspension as well. Pro Comp wheels and tires. The Kilby front uh, bumper, G2 axles, got a lot of work underneath there. You'll see that in the pictures as uh, when we uh, actually uh, put it online, you'll be able to see that in the pictures as well. So put that online. Inside, the car has a super nice sound system, big subwoofer in the back, and uh, Rear seat, and it's least even got in the back there the uh, the soft top folded up and put down. So uh, if you want to take off the hard top, you can and enjoy it. So normally I go for a ride out on uh, the road, but being that this is a four-wheel drive vehicle, I'm gonna take a little bit different ride today. If y'all want to know whether it works or not, don't you? Well, let's go find out. I get myself off road here and put it into neutral. And there, as you see, take this little buggy here and put it up into four low. Why not? We'll take it into four low and just let the gas take us right up this hill. things about these Jeeps is they're set up right they pretty much go anywhere and uh, be a lot of fun for an outdoorsy type of person or if you're like me and like to do photo shoots you'll see some of the pictures we did when we went up into that canyon right up there to actually do the photo shoots that's a lot of fun now there's a pretty steep hill Let's just see if we can go up that and slow here. Why not? Oh, yeah, that's gonna go. There we go. Hello, come on. Well, it was a little bit too steep for this bugger. <laughs> Maybe I should try a lesser steep hill. But you can see all four wheels dug in. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. We'll go up at an angle so we don't have to go so steep on a soft hill. Okay, we'll try this again. Yeah, we're going to go up on this angle right here like this. Oh, now that just worked perfect, didn't it? <laughs> I'll just leave
leave that blooper in there. So, but, you know, the nice thing about this kind of vehicle is you can get to where you have a view. Here's all of Boulder City right there. Boulder Dam's over that way. And just a pretty place to be. You wouldn't get here in something without this kind of four-wheel drive capability, now would you? So, if you want to buy this great Jeep that's in excellent condition with a lot more money in it than uh, what you want to spend if you were buying brand new, then why don't you give me a call and say, hey Doug, I'd like to offer you this. Because uh, when you email me prices, like a lot of people do, and say, hey, what's your bottom line? Hey, uh, what's your bottom dollar? What's the least amount you'll take? That's just dumb. I'm not going to answer those questions. Idiotic. What I will answer is, yes, if you give me an offer, that makes sense and that's intelligent because that's what I do. I've been in business for 16 years and I like making my customers happy. So if you come to me with an offer that's intelligent, smart, and you know what the market is and you're not an idiot, give me some lowball nutcracker offer, then you will own this Jeep and you will take it home. Because I know that you're the buyer and you have been out looking all over the place for one just like this. And you have walked away from a bunch that were way more expensive than what you'll buy this one for because they were junk, but you know what they're worth. And I know you know that because you're a savvy buyer. So, do your job. Don't just call me, you know, looking for pricing. Look that up in a book or on the internet. If you want to make a deal, call me to make the deal. And I'll make you the deal, I promise you that. So, have fun, and we're gonna take this thing out of four-wheel drive. Just like that. Down there like that. Go back into drive. And take off. So. Love to hear you. This is Doug Williams, Viva Las Vegas Autos, with another great automobile that's in super duper shape and has ice cold air and everything works properly the way it should. So call me at the 702-353-7500 number and let's make a deal. Love to hear from you soon. Thanks. Bye.